trying new food can be a swing and a miss. But Jeff has been telling us for years that the food here at Stella's batting cage just knocks it out of the park. And you know what? We're finally ready to step up to the plate. When you go to the batting cages, you expect maybe some popcorn, some hot dogs, but I'm looking at this menu and you guys are basically breaking all the rules right now. We wanted to go back to the ballpark feel and a lot of the different stadiums bring different type of foods. This has been around for about 30 years. We felt with us taking over the new business, we want to really kind of develop our, uh, our Korean culture into the menu. Tell me a little bit about the history of this place. Uh, the original owner really just wanted something for the community. So Anna, you're one of the original owners. What made you guys want to open this up? My husband asked me, would you like me to build you a restaurant? I did most of the construction myself. As we were building it, you didn't realize what you were building until you stepped back and saw it in operation. It was like, really this happened? If you build it, they will come. Well, we're here for the Texas Ranger Chumongus. <laughs> huh? What's in the Chumongus? It's a uh, Korean... Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Might be better off you talking Take about Take two. That. Uh... Tell us. Alright, I got it, I got it. Alright, so what's in the humongous? So it's a kitchen. Oh. Guys, I just, he, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. I'm, I'm sorry, gonna go back I'm in the sorry. kitchen, I'm gonna figure it out. You stay out here. <laughs> Your brother's cool, but he has no idea what's going on in here. Shumongus is a marinated skirt steak. It's Korean style kind of marinade. We top it off with a quick kimchi slaw. Just a little bit of sriracha mayo just to kick up the color and the taste. It's a lot of ingredients, no wonder Ed couldn't remember. So what's first? First we get the beef on. So while that's going, we gotta get our bread started. Steam the buns. Yep. Do you grab it with your hands? Yeah, just be careful. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, and maybe I should do A handful of this. Yeah, I'll tell you when. <laughs> when. Grab a little beef and just put it right there. That's perfect. Pinch of green. I come in with this uh, sriracha mayo, and I just kinda, just for a touch of orange. That's Boom shakalaka. Yeah. We done. Why do you love to come here? I came here as a kid. Um, it feels like home. It's just fun to me. This is our go-to place when I don't want to cook. But we're here because of one viewer who told us at least eight times that we needed to quit playing hardball and give Stella's a taste. Jeff, you've asked us again and again and again and again. We are here. Yes, I'm very <laughs> happy you guys decided to show up. Why do you love this place so much? Uh, the food's really interesting and it's always been super quality every time I've had it. It's not every day you come to a ballpark and you find Korean food. Let's get in here. Let's get it, let's get it, let's go. Man, every flavor goes together perfectly. Tell me why you guys are Chicago's best. You don't find places like this still around. I kick and ride his bike, slam some balls, get a soft serve cone, it's special, you know what I mean? A 30 year legacy that's still going strong. Cheers to 30 more. Cheers.